three, two, one. First of all, you know, people, people didn't create God, you know. We created the religion. People did. I mean, God didn't create some religion. But, you know, some of, some of us did. So, what, you know, what gives those um, atheists the right to, you know, bash God for some religion anyway? You know? Atheists don't bash God. I'm not sure if you realize, but um, atheists don't believe in God, so why would they attempt to bash something that they believe is non-existent? Now, what you will find among atheists is atheists mocking or pointing out the contemptible nature of the particular concept of a god. And that god is being followed by the religion in question. Thus, in conclusion, I would say it is religion which brings this idea, this concept of god. Thus, religion is the actual target, not god. I, I have no idea. I mean, do you honestly think that god made some religion? I mean, why, why would some idiotic atheists. Alright, I have a problem with you saying idiotic atheists. Idiotic is defined as displaying stupidity or foolishness, and then you say atheist, which fundamentally means that they do not believe in the existence of a god. So if you glue those two words together, idiotic atheists, you are in fact implying that anyone who does not believe in god is stupid or foolish blame God for some religion that some people had created. Would you blame your parents for, for what your brothers and sisters have done to some people you don't even know? Absolutely yes. Not my actual parents I have right now, but yes, I would in fact blame parents for the choices and things that those children or adults later do in life. I say this because I have an aunt who happens to be a drug addict. My druggy aunt got her 14, 15 year old daughters addicted to cocaine and crack which then led them to being put in jail and then most recently a few months ago having my 20 year old cousin have a baby and that child was born on meth. Now it was because of that parents choice and parents decisions and influencing the children and the, 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 the mother, my aunt, exposed her children to the, to the drugs and got them addicted to it. The parents. So yes, I do in fact and will blame parents for the act and decisions and choices that a child at a young age, when they grow older, make. I don't blame all parents, but there are some of the parents out there who do need the blaming for the, the failure of their children and the choices those children make because the parent made the poor choice of not parenting their children correctly. Such a hypocrisy and, and contradiction. I see this uh, sort of illogicalness over and over among atheists. I mean, is there a, a school for, for atheist wannabes or something? How would some idiotic atheist blame God for, for, you know, what some evil people did in, in the name of some religion. They're not blaming God, like I said, they don't believe in God. These evil people use religion and God to justify their evil actions. Not all people, but some evil people use God as a means to justify their evil, disgusting, vile, wrong acts. It's like the news story a few months ago when the daughter was killed by the Christian parents because they believed the Bible said to uh, do not spare the rod, and they beat their child to death. They use a book, they use religion, they use a God to justify their vile actions. In the name of God, I'm allowed to have sex with 10-year-old girls. That is, in fact, a true news story. Just a couple of months ago, a Mormon prophet went to trial because of all his sexual relations with girls between the ages of 10 and 15 years of age. But God said I can have sex with a 10-year-old girl! That's what he wants! Again, it's people using religion, God, or book to justify their actions. That's the problem. I mean, if some asshole kills a kid during some satanic ritual, 
God is also to blame? If Hitler killed Jews, God is to blame too? If some dumbass on a horse killed some Muslims a thousand years ago, God is also to blame? All right, let's blame Satanists for killing children. Basically, every other religion kills people. But you fail to see that your own religion, Christianity, if you go back to the Old Testament, there's lots of killing. God or thousands upon thousands of people to be killed. So why are you attributing the cult or religion of Satanism with killing innocent children, but not even looking at your own book, the Bible, or your own religion, Christianity, to see what the Old Testament has to say of the acts God committed? <laughs> By the way, speaking of the crusade, how and why the heck do those atheists think God is, uh, is the same as Allah anyway? If they are the same, why the heck those guys at the time and still now killing each other? Because the Bible describes God as always is and always was. Therefore, that's why atheists say that God is the same as the Allah God, as the Zeus God, as the Hindu God. Because the Bible, the fundamental foundation of who God is, all of his character qualities, patience, love, and kindness, are in your own book. And they describe him as always is and always was. I sincerely suggest that you study and read through the entire Bible, and you may learn a few things. I mean, tell me, atheist, please, why are you so illogical and self-contradictory to the point so hypocritical? Why? I'm sure that uh, there are some sensible ones among atheists, so please comment. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, I have a challenge for you. Can you name a fallacy that this man committed in this video? And as always, my name is Daniel Sulzbach, also known as Mr. Repsion. Peace the rep out, and have a jolly jolly good day.